Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a glowstone with a brightness comparable to the sun. Now in order to do this, we need some magnesium. Now magnesium metal seems harmless at first. In fact, they use magnesium metal to make car parts still. But just like other metals, magnesium actually reacts with the air to form magnesium oxide. Now normally it's not a big deal, it just forms this coating on the outside of magnesium oxide. But if you get enough magnesium reacting with enough oxygen, it can burn extremely hot. In fact, magnesium fires are some of the brightest things that we can look at. Magnesium fires are so bright because they get so hot. In fact, they reach several thousand degrees Celsius extremely fast. And when something gets that hot, it's comparable to the brightness of the sun. Even though the sun is a lot bigger, it's a lot further away. So when a magnesium fire is right next to you, if it takes up the same angle as the sun did in the sky, even though the sun is around 80 times brighter than the magnesium, if the magnesium's closer, it can actually be brighter than the sun. And another dangerous thing about magnesium fires is they don't just let off bright visible light, but they actually let off ultraviolet light as well. So let me show you how bright this stuff is and I'll show you how much ultraviolet light it lets off. So now let me explain why you use sunglasses when you have a magnesium fire. So I have here a bead that reacts with ultraviolet light. I'm gonna put this bead next to the fire. Let's see what happens. Now if it gets any UV light, it's gonna to start to turn purple. So let's see what happens when I light this on fire now. Okay, and I'll get my eye protection on. Okay, here we go. Oh, that is bright. Okay, let's look at our bead now. <laughs> it's purple. Well, that is so bright. <laughs> Now that is dark. What this is left with is magnesium oxide. So the magnesium has reacted with the oxygen in the air to make this white powder. But what's interesting is that the oxygen doesn't have to come from the air. It can actually come from carbon dioxide. So if you have pure carbon dioxide, it will still burn. Now normally if you have carbon dioxide and put fire next to it, that CO2 is going to put out the fire. So I just have a cup with dry ice in it here. Watch what happens when I put this in it. Immediately goes out. That's because the butane that is in here can't react with carbon dioxide. And so the carbon dioxide just pushes out all the oxygen so there's nothing for the butane to react with so it can't burn so the CO2 puts out the fire. That's why fire extinguishers use CO2 because they dis displace the oxygen and they can easily put out the fire but not a magnesium fire. The magnesium can actually react with the CO2 to form magnesium oxide and pure carbon. So let's see what happens if we burn magnesium in dry ice. I like to call this the glowstone reaction. So first I just need to hollow out the dry ice, make a spot for the magnesium. So the camera is going to auto adjust the light. So basically the brighter it gets, the darker the room around it is going to appear. So when it's at its peak, it's gonna look like it's in a completely dark room, when in reality, it's the same brightness as you saw when we started. <laughs> okay, that was crazy. That got so bright. So you can see we did this in a lit room and that's how bright it got. So the lighting auto adjust completely made everything else look dark because how bright it got, it just completely dwarfed the light in the room. 
So you can see what's left is magnesium oxide and elemental carbon. So you can see I end up with this black carbon here. And then the white stuff is the magnesium oxide. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. Remember to check out theactionlab.com for the Action Lab experiment boxes and my experiment book as well. And if you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit the subscribe button and you can also hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.